Oft Robotics is uh, located in Zurich, Switzerland, where we currently develop the worldwide first um, assistive system, uh, robotic system actually, for uh, intravitreal injections, so injections into the eye. I think everyone has seen this and been there, um, a full waiting room. As a patient, you wait for hours until you finally have your doctor's appointment. And as a surgeon, you see this never-ending number of uh, patients coming into your, uh, into your surgery. And this is especially true for one type of uh, surgical intervention, which is intravitreal therapy. And I don't have to go into it too much. Uh, but basically, you can see the numbers from 2006 when intravitreal injections were introduced. Uh, there has been a steep increase of the numbers uh, to about 22.3 million injections worldwide in 2017. And this is mostly due to aging demographics, but of course also due to newly developed drugs which come to the market. Of course, uh, now there is a, is a problem with the capacity in many hospitals to really treat all these patients uh, with the efficiency uh, they need. And now imagine you are a surgeon and you can inject uh, your, your agents into a different patient, uh, patient eyes at the same time, maybe two or three at the same time. And this is uh, our motivation why we develop a uh, assistive robotic system to help surgeons inject uh, with more efficient efficiency and also the safety they need. So that way we can increase capacity but also deliver high quality treatment by very precise uh, injections into the eye and this of course comes um, at reduced cost as well. And here I would like to introduce you to some of the features of our system. Uh, first of all, it's remotely controlled, so you can imagine a surgeon staying in his office environment while several patients are being treated um, in the operation theater. Uh, also, we have a, redu a reduced contamination through a uh, filtered airflow that basically gets rid, so gets rid of all bacterial contamination around the patient's face. Eye identification, uh, basically an iris scan, helps us to identify the right eye and the right patient, so there's no confusion. Continuous eye tracking allows us to know exactly where the eye is located so that our uh, precision kinematics can inject with a high safety and precision. And of course, it's also important to have a, a comfort for the patient. And this is why uh, he or she is sitting at this system, like on many other systems you might have seen. Here, I would like to introduce our preclinical prototype to you. This system, um, is in use by, our, um, by one of our collaborating surgeons, Professor Becker, as you can see on the uh, left side. And the patient can put his chin and forehead on this headrest and also grab the handlebars to sit very comfortable while the injection is happening. And here I would like to show you a short video. Yes. To show you some of, of the features of the system. So as I said, um, the operation is, can be done remotely on a screen where the surgeon then puts in several parameters, for example, the location for the injection um, and basically initiates the whole procedure by the push of a button. The drug load loading in this system is done by using a pre-filled syringe, which then is placed into the system through a very simple clicking mechanism. This way, the surgeon can still um, decide which medication should be used and after the preloading has been done, then the system is ready to go. In this part, you can see how the system first positions itself around the, the patient's face. Then you will see a little green cross. This is for gaze fixation, so the patient has something to look at um, and fixate the, the eye position as well. And then you can see how the automated injection uh, comes with extremely high precision and injects medication into the eye. And with this, I would like to thank for your attention and also acknowledge all of my colleagues and uh, clinical partners and, of course, our financial supporters. Thank you. Thank you.